So in my Gong book, I teach one form to the Si Di Quan. Now stand, now stand, stand, a block turn, block turn. So people always, always ask me um, the stand. Why we do the stand? Stand is good because you know you can't you can practice muscles. You know you can do body. You can use weight to the you know uh, weight lifting. You can do squats. But this kind of training just training your bones, you you muscles, not training your bones. So and the stand is good for you make your small muscles strong and make your joints strong, make your bones stronger. So when you do the step, you can take you can you can only practice your stand. You don't need to practice the whole form sometimes. For example, you just pull your hand here, go into the stand, you just take inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You have so. So when you practice, you need to don't use too much power. Maybe when you doing, you don't feel pain, but another day you will feel really painful. So make sure when you do it, you breathing with your movement together. You look like you practice qigong. For example, look, I take in hell, then go exhale. Look, I want to exhale. My whole body, whole weight, they come to. If I step my left feet, so my whole body weight will come to left. Yeah, yeah. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this kind of training is really good for conditioning your Small bone, you join, and your small muscles also help you when you do the push kick or you know the, the side kick. All help to make you kick more strong. Um, okay, I just try to explain you. I want you to understand. Thank you.